Welcome to Idea Statica Global User Day 2021. Welcome to the first ever meeting of Idea Statica users, fans, and supporters. Welcome to our stream about what we do and what we want to do together with you, structural engineers around the world. My name is Juraj Shabatka, and I will be your moderator today. This event is no joke. It's not pre-recorded. We are streaming live from Brno, Czech Republic, the hometown of the software that forever changed the structural engineering software industry. We are streaming. You cannot be here with us, but we try to make it as interactive as possible. Uh, I can already see the lively chat that's been going on. At some point during the presentations, we will ask you to vote. We will activate polls. And during the whole event, you can pose questions about whatever you feel asking. Hopefully, it will be uh, somewhat related to a structural engineering, our organizations, uh, and projects we do together. We are trying to keep the event short and sweet. We bundled everything into four topics. We're going to start with people and products of Idea Statica. Then we have an honor to welcome two of our trusted customers to tell you a little bit more how they use Idea Statica in their daily work. Then we'll do a coffee break. And after that, the future, what's ahead of us with Idea Statica. And then, for the first time, the ceremony about Idea Statica Excellence Awards. I mentioned a poll, so let's do a first one together to warm us up. Can you please answer a simple question? From where do you watch us? Let's do countries. So you can either type in United Kingdom, Germany, or you can just like what you already see on the screen. And once you start doing that, the answers will bundle together and we should get sort of a feeling from where our audience is watching us from. So from where do you watch us? From where did you join the Idea Statica Global User Day 2021? All right. So we can see the first countries coming in. Oh, we straight away see US, Croatia, Belarus, India. Wow, all the, I appreciate all the users for which this is not the ideal time zone. So appreciate the late evening experience with us, as well as the early birds to the west of us. Um, seems that the stream is working. Uh, votes are coming in. Awesome. Netherlands. Lots of people from Dubai. I see Russia, Czech Republic. Excellent. All right. And that correlates with where Idea Statica is used, so it's making us very happy. Perfect. Thanks a lot. And let's open the first block of Idea Statica Global User Day. Well, I'm not alone anymore. Welcome to our virtual studio again. We're in the first block, Idea Statica People and Products. It seemed very easy to see a software that can do hundreds of steel connections or solve the complex concrete details. But it has been a long journey for us to get it to you. So I'm very happy that I can welcome four of my colleagues here uh, today and talk a little bit about uh, the journey we are on. Starting from Theodore, uh, our director of Idea Statica UK, joining remotely from London. Theo, can you hear us? Yes. Hello. Perfect. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you perfectly. Okay. So, what is it that you do for Idea Statica? Well, I'm uh, managing director of uh, Idea Statica UK, uh, responsible for all operations uh, and representing our wonderful team in London. 
Thank you very much. Martin Rolny, Operations Director, hello. Hi, Uri. Hi, everybody. What's your role in our organization? Hmm. So I would mention that I lead a team of uh, product engineers who are responsible for a support of our users. And maybe I would also mention that I'm responsible for the uh, preparation of the release version. That means mm -hmm. the final testing before we launch the version. Okay, thanks a lot. Wojtěch Chalupa, Product Development Engineer, hello. Hello, hello everyone. So what do you do, Wojtěch? I'm a, as a Product Development Engineer, what we do is we take the requests from, from you, our customers, and we formulate the features that we then hand over to the development team. So you are the guy who knows all the building codes? And we are the guys who know all the building codes, that's right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Petra Komarkova, Product Engineer, hello. Hello, hello everybody. <clears throat> uh, so I work as a Product Engineer, which means that I um, provide the technical support for our users. Uh, prepare the content for our support center. Maybe some of you know me from the webinars. And we also test the software and educate our, our partners, resellers, etc. Thank you very much, Petra. <laughs> Martin, what does Idea Statica mean to you? Mm. For me, it's, a, it's an innovative company, a group of uh, open-minded people who creates a software for design of structure members that, uh, that allows engineers to sleep peacefully. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, they, some of the <laughs> participants will confirm that. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. Okay. laughs> uh, who are the people behind Idea Sterica? Wojtěch, your opinion. Well, I'll answer that for the development side of things. Um, we are a product team, there is uh, five of us now, and we are mm -hmm. led by uh, Lubomir Shabatka, the CEO. Uh, he brings his 30 years of ex uh, experience in developing structural engineering software for you, structural engineers. And then there are the actual developers. And the developers are a mix of those founding fathers who have been with the company since the beginning, and the new hires who tied all together, new promising ones. Uh, they are all led by Martin Jansa, our development director. And I think you will be able to see them both during the third block. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, it is possible. Uh, so 40 <laughs> people more on the development side. What, yeah. what about the other side of the company, Petra? Well, <clears throat> there is a second big department. Uh, we call it sales and support. Uh, and in this team, uh, the head of this team, in the head of this team is Uri, sitting next to me. And um, there are uh, other teams, like mini teams of sales team, marketing teams, and a product team, or we can call it a support team. Uh, as the name suggests, uh, there are a lot of people who are educated in different fields, from the business studies, through the marketing studies, ending up with structural engineers. So as a member of a product team, I'm also a structural engineer. All of us actually are the structural engineers. So we understand our users. Uh, we can communicate like on the level of structural engineering and communicate also their needs to the development team. Got it. All right. So coming back to our wonderful UK team, Theo, uh, hearing all this, uh, where does Idea Statica fit in the global market of software for structural engineers? Yeah, um, interesting question. Uh, first of all, uh, I'd like to emphasize to our audience uh, that Idea Statica is a software solution that is focusing entirely on the design of structural details and elements. So our goal is not to create another global analysis software. Uh, and in that sense, I think that um, Idea Statica sits in a very unique position in the construction software industry. Uh, since we are probably the only software focusing entirely on structural details that has a very clear international approach. And by that, I mean to be able to cover the needs of potentially every engineer in the world in terms of code requirements, but uh, also in terms of local support. Um, 
And to prove this with numbers, uh, we cover eight different design codes. The software is translated in 13 different languages. And we have a network of, uh, I think, 38, if I'm correct, independent resellers and four regional offices in Europe and the US. So I think this pretty much proves my point. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot, Theo. Martin, anything mm -hmm. you would add in what is Idea Statica to you? I would, I would mention that we also that we, as I talk, that we create a software, and I would add that we create a software that you can use in a, in a human way. That means that you can really focus on your on your problem, so you, that you are not lost in the calculation in uh, and formulas and looking for uh, coefficients in tables in appendix or mm -hmm. in a really long code uh, and uh, stuff like that. So maybe just give me an ex just example or if we can remember the, the childhood, how we play with Lego. It was so easy to create some model, then play it and immediately test. You, can, you are really able to load it immediately and see the behavior of the structure. And I think that's it, because if you can apply it also in, in our daily work, that means really focus on the problem, on the design of a structure. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You mentioned technology, software. I'm curious, what is it that we exactly do in steel? Wojciech, mm -hmm. will you tell us more? Yeah, absolutely. Happy to do that. What do we actually do in steel? I think that most of you joining us today, watching, you already know. So I will just go through the main points. We are the industry leader in connection design. And by connections, I mean, for example, your typical ones, your typical everyday connections that we allow you to understand a bit deeper. We allow you to calculate that stiffness. We allow you to optimize them, but still make sure that you are safe. I also mean those complex ones. There you no longer need to estimate. There you no longer need to over-design in order to cover for that interaction. Just build that connection as a whole and see if it works. Base plates are another important part of the picture. You need to check your anchors. You need to check that stress in the concrete block and also that stiffness and see how that compares to the assumptions that you've made in your design. But in order to actually check a connection, uh, how do you get there? Uh, you need to model it, right? And for that, that is the new feature, the new connection browser, which is aimed at minimizing that rework. Uh, you never need to start from scratch with connection browser. You can take your designs, publish them into your database, and then when you come across a similar connection in the future, just select the one that you like and apply that. In the future, you will also be able to share those designs not only uh, to your database, but to a company database and share those with your colleagues. And speaking of sharing, uh, the new Checkbot app that has been introduced in the latest version, 21.1, uh, allows you to translate that data you already have. It allows you to mirror your model from the third party app of your choice that you use to design your structures and take it into the Idea Statica ecosystem. It is IOM based, IOM standing for Idea Open Model, which is our API, which is the way of accessing the data in our apps. And this IOM is, is free. It is open source. It is published on our GitHub page 
and I invite anyone to check that out. Uh, build a link for yourselves. We not only support the direct links to the third-party software, we also support open formats, one of them being SIF, the Structural Analysis Format file from the Niemice group. And I guess it's a good time to see the checkbot in action. So you can just launch that from the third-party model of your choice and select a part of it, import it into your checkbot project. In the 3D scene, you can check the imports. Are all the internal forces there? Is everything all okay? And if it is, you can proceed and design your connections. Normally, what you would do is just go through the motion, add one manufacturing operation after the other until you are satisfied. And when you are, you just run the calculation, see if it works. And if it does, you can store this design, call the connection browser, and publish it for later use. That way, next time you come across a similar connection, just call the browser, reapply the connection, see if you need to readjust. And if you don't, calculate it, see where you stand. And all that's left to do is check your model. You see the green check marks there just print out the reports. To conclude, why are we actually here? We are here to bring you this powerful solution in a very easy to use package. We are here to help you design all your connections and also those non-standard members, the members with openings, the members with those intricate load patterns. And lastly, to allow you to transfer your data, to save you that remodeling. And on that note, I'm actually curious, how do you currently share your data? Let's do a poll. So a question should be popping out to you. How do you transfer data between your applications? I just input everything manually. That's option A. Files in common data formats at B. Direct links, plugins between uh, my applications or common data environments. So please submit your experience. Submit what's your design practice, how you see it. And can also see what others are doing. So manual work seems to be uh, cracking it. Almost 50%, let's give it a few more seconds. All right. Hmm. Well, Petra, seeing this, what do, what do you think? Well, looking at these results, I would call it a fear, fear of using uh, the automatic imports or BIM workflows. Partially, I can understand um, why you, you prefer manually um, inputting everything, but I think that um, you might have uh, had a bad experience or you just don't trust it, but mm. to, the sooner you will start with this, uh, the better will be your designs. You will get uh, more efficient and competitive and faster with your projects. Mm. Wojciech, what are we doing about the fear? Yeah, that's exactly the word <laughs> I got there, <laughs> the fear. Um, I'm actually rooting for the success of, of those open formats. Um, I think that that fear at some certain points might be justified. And uh, that's why I think that that universal language, you know, because the idea behind those open formats is quite noble in my opinion. The universal language in which we can communicate with each other, in which we can share our data. So I, I'm really rooting for the success of formats like IFC or the, or the SAF format. All right. And it's all to enable better workflows. Theodore, uh, where does Aesthetica fit? 
in uh, you mean in the workflows, right? Correct. Yeah. Um, well, it's um, well the technology. I mean, the the construction software is uh, it's all about BIM, right? It's all about you know transferring data and uh, transferring data either from one software to the other or from one discipline to the other. Uh, and since Idea Statica is actually focusing on the details, and these details are part of a global structural model, um, I think we need to be able to link with software solutions that deal with a global model, either uh, as analysis uh, solutions or detailing solutions. So what we actually do is that we work together with companies like uh, Autodesk, Trimble, Bentley, or the Nemetsa Group, to develop the best possible BIM workflows uh, that allows our customers to save time and money, obviously, uh, by seamlessly transferring all the data. Uh, and I think Wojtek earlier you know, showed a little bit about mm -hmm. that, you know, how all this right. is possible. And yeah. the goal is not to lose any valuable information, but also have complete control mm -hmm. of your model. Guys, you're doing a great job. Just between the time you're talking about this, the 50% transfer to 36. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very cool. Uh, you mentioned workflows, you mentioned steel. Uh, what do we do in concrete, Petra? Will you tell us more? I'm happy to. Let's do it. So I'm happy that I can talk about the concrete because Idea Statica is not just about a steel connection design, but it's also about the concrete design. So what do we actually do in concrete? Well, we do a lot of stuff. We can deliver a solution for reinforced concrete structures, typical or non-typical ones, through the uh, precast concrete members and challenging uh, these optimization things at, and uh, things connected to precast industry to the most difficult, most um, complex uh, bridge engineering. You might say, okay, um, it's nice that you have the solution for such a problems, but why should I use Idea Statica? Um, what is there for me? Is it just about the regular code checks of reinforced and pre-stressed concrete? And I would say, no, there is something more. There is a unique and innovative solution because we using advanced non-linear CSFM analysis. And thanks to this analysis, we deliver the general solution. So forget about the formulas and um, strictly depending, dependent workflows, which are suitable for a typical geometry. Here we have a general solution, any geometry, any loading, and it's still con code compliant, so you can perfectly use it for your projects. We are aware of the fact that uh, the concrete industry is segmented. So that's why uh, we deliver solution for three groups of concrete engineers. Uh, the first group is represented by reinforced concrete engineer who deal with structures like corbels, frame joints, walls with openings, columns. You can confidently design and check the critical members. Then we have the precast concrete engineers who need to design um, or balance uh, the costs, uh, reduce the weight, and deal with complicated geometry. It's not a problem from, for Idea Statica. And as the last, uh, the last group is represented by bridge engineers who face the most complex parts, bridge parts or bridge structures, such as diaphragms, pier caps or pile cap. And if it's pre-stressed, uh, it's also not a problem. You can model pre-stressing tendons 
and have them as a part of the structural model. So you don't believe it? Let's check the idea statica in action. You can model uh, depth and beam with several openings, like in minutes. Uh, then uh, you create the load cases, generate the combination for both ultimate and serviceability limit states. After that, you can use the design tools, uh, which can help you with the reinforcement layout. Where are the tensions and where are the compressions? So it's like a hand, very handy uh, when the geometry is uh, um, complicated. So based on this, you can design stirrups and longitudinal reinforcement. And all this reinforcement is the actual part of the finite element model. You run the analysis and then you have the results in terms of strains and stresses. And we cover all checks, including uh, correct width check and deflection check. Uh, once your design is finished, you can export the reinforcement to DXF and generate uh, the report with all importing uh, figures and information. So to sum it up, we are making concrete design simple. So reinforced and pre-stressed concrete designs do not have to be complicated if you use the right tool. So and now I'd like to know how you deal with the concrete designs. Let's do a poll. So another poll for you. Imagine you have a task to design a beam with an opening. How would you deal with it? Use general FEA tools, maybe ANSYS, NASTRAN. Reject the project, not doing it. Hand calculations or come up with a design alternative with a different solution without that opening. So imagine maybe the last time you, uh, you came up with a task like that, might be a concrete beam, might be even a steel beam with an opening for whatever reason, you know it. So how did you deal with the design and the check of buildability of that member? You can see there's quite a few of advanced users here, like finite elements, it's good to see. Second place so far, hand calculations. Okay, very good. Let's give it a couple more seconds. All right, FEA tools are rocking. Theodore. Seeing the results, what do you think? Wait a, wait a bit, we cannot hear you. Please come again. Yes, sorry. Yeah, I'm actually uh, a little bit surprised about the last two, uh, which combined together, it's a, it's a significant percentage, especially the avoiding the, the, the project. I think it's, I'm not, I cannot see the results now, I think it was 6%. Uh, Correct. It's, it's quite big, uh, and it's, a, it's actually a shame uh, that an engineer comes to a point that he needs to reject something simply because he doesn't have the tool to design it. And I think uh, this is, this is the, our, our biggest contribution in this, because now, as Petra said, you are able to design everything pretty much with, a, with a very little effort. So uh, at the same time, I see a lot of people using advanced finite element tools which mm -hmm. is not surprising, but at the same time, they're missing all the checks. So I think there's a lot of potential there and a lot of improvement in terms of time. Mm -hmm. Petra, what do you think about the results? Well, um, yeah, I think it's nice or great news that uh, so many engineers use uh, the FEA tools. And uh, uh, I admire the people who uh, can design such a things by hand calculations. So it's good for the verifications or to verify uh, the fair tools or solution. Mm -hmm. uh, but if yeah, if you combine this, you can be more efficient. So okay, that's my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the poll. In the meantime, I was looking at the questions in the chat, and 
Uh, Wojtich, uh, th there's discussion about your uh, very bold statement that we can connect Checkbot to any application. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Uh, if the application <laughs> <laughs> has at least some uh, accessibility to its data, that means any sort of API, any sort of export format that you can uh, create out of your models, then yes, connecting Checkbot to that should be possible. And if I am a developer of a software for final element analysis in uh, um, one Whatever. of the Asian countries, let's yes. say, and I want to link to Idea Statica, what should I do? Jump on our GitHub page, Idea Statica GitHub, and then get in touch with us on the forums, um, and we'll make sure that you have all that you need to develop that link. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, we'll, um, browsing through the questions. Uh, <laughs> How is it possible, Martin, that no, no one kind of came up with what we do before? What is our technology edge? Uh, I would say that the, the technology uh, is uh, just a tool. Yeah? So we need to think about how to create a tool for structural engineers that really can help them to solve their problems, the structures they deal with. And uh, just give me an example about Idea Statica connection. We, uh, every, I think that everybody knows it now from the users. <laughs> and uh, uh, as you know, you can, really you can really focus on the design, on the modeling of the structure. And we take care about the generating of the analysis model in the background. And that it will speed up and help you to the, to the focus on the design of the structure. Yeah, because you, as I talk already, you can really play with the structure model, ch check the behavior of the structure, of the, of, for example, check the deformed shape and see the real behavior of the structure, and you don't need to lose your time in that formulas. All right, but still, question stands. Why yeah. is not everybody else doing it? <laughs> That's right. Wojciech. <laughs> okay. uh, while the technology is just there for it to mm -hmm. make it work, it is not as easy to, to build the solution that is verified, that actually works mm -hmm. as the experiments say a real physical structure works. So the amount of experiments, verifications, validations mm -hmm. behind that model is what makes this unique and is why we are proud to present this to you and go to market with such a solution because we know mm -hmm. it works, we have proved it. All right. Uh, is there any difference between how we uh have this edge in steel and concrete? Theodore? Sorry, can you repeat the question? Is there any difference in what we do in steel and concrete in terms of our technology? Ah, uh, actually, no. The, the technology is pretty much the same. Let's say the approach is the same. So we're using advanced finite element uh, analysis in the background. But uh, uh, we have actually developed new methods with obviously the help of uh, universities, which is really critical. And this is what I wanted to add to what Wojtek said mm -hmm. earlier. I think it's, it's, it's really important that we work with universities on that. And uh, we developed specific methods that are simplifying the work of an engineer and taking out all the laborious uh, procedures. So in terms of differences, I would say it's pretty much the same, okay. just different methods that we, that we have developed okay. for steel and concrete. Okay. Speaking of the differences, we hear BIMLINGS, we, we hear SAF, so mm. uh, what's the difference, Wojciech? Um, the difference in the outcome is not that big. You will get your model into the Checkbot app and can design your connections and members there. Um, the actual difference is in the workflow. So if you are linked directly to your software, you can interact a bit more. You can synchronize uh, your work that you do in that 3D model, while SAF is just, parentheses, just a file that you can share easily and that you can upload to the checkbot. Uh, but it is, uh, so far, just a one-time process. So that would be the main, main difference. All right. Anything our users should expect in terms of differences, uh, steel and concrete, checkboard functionalities? Um, for concrete, we actually do support importing a concrete structure. 
the thing is, that is the member app for Concrete, which you can launch from Checkbot. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll get to that later today. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. So we summarized uh, what we do, what is roughly the process behind it, what's, the, what's happening in the black box in the Czech Republic and uh, all our other um, offices around the world. So you get a good feel about what Idea Statica uh, does uh, today. Later in the day, we will look more into the future. But for now, I would like to uh, thank our panelists and move to the block number two. Thanks a lot, guys. It was a pleasure. Thank you.